Love me. Hi, Joseph. Hi, Andrea. Love me is Hello, Miss. Good afternoon. Hello, Miss. Miss, so sorry to not connect in the other classes is because I don't have internet. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. Miss, but you're going to put the videos in, in Google to finish the things in the other class. Okay. YouTube. Okay. So, well, welcome to spelling class. It's an our last class of today. And then I'm going to see you until Monday. Oh my God. So, well, here we go, people. That time is very fast. Yes. Yes, so, very fast. Yes, today we're going to keep working in Unit 10, The Return of the Wolf. So, that is the Unit 10. As you know, uh, I remember that we couldn't complete the page one hundred five, so we are gonna do it today, and we're gonna work one hundred five, six, and seven for today. And you have a dictation too. <laughs> Miss, I'm no. going to something. Miss, I'm going to yeah. tell you something. Yep. I finished page one hundred five because my mom says because in the platform my mom says that. That in the platform says yeah, I know, I know, but do you remember that that day many students were uh, interrupting and disturbing in the class and we couldn't have the time to finish? But yes, I think my mom said, and my mom said that that I need to do it, so I do it, but, but I tried to say that 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 page is a review, so I did. So I said it doesn't that. matter. I know, I know that sometimes your parents don't understand that part, but I'm gonna talk to them about that tomorrow and Friday uh, to explain then. Okay. So and when you don't finish something, it doesn't mean that you're gonna lose point or something. Okay, but so let's start today. We're gonna start the class by watching a video because today we're going to uh review some things about prefixes, okay, in, 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 in this class. So we're gonna start with a video. Uh, we're going to do 105, 106. Okay, so we're gonna make a Okay, so pay attention please and turn off your microphones, turn it off. I am Chris the Word Whiz. Let's take a look at prefixes today. Prefixes are groups of letters in front of a word. These change the meaning. We will look at four prefixes. Pre, un, by, and dis. Here's one, review. When we add re to a word, it means again. Hmm. Okay, so view means to look at something. If we add three, we would have look at something again. We view words before a spelling test. Refill. Let's look here. So we already know that re means again. What does Rebuild mean. Yes, build again. Very nice. Un is another prefix. It means not. Like in unhappy. That means not happy. Here's another one. Untie. A shoe that is untied would be 
not tied. Let's look at five now. I know that five means two. Do you think of bicycle? If we look at bicycle, it means there are two cycles or circles. Bicycles have two circles for wheels. Did you ever hear of bicolor? We know what color means. If we have bi or two in front of it, pay attention, it Bruce. Means two colors. The last one we will inspect today is dis. Yes. When dis is in front of a word, it can mean not. So if we say he is dishonest, we are saying he is not honest. Take a look at this. Dislike. What does that mean? Yes. It means to not like something. Nice work. You know four prefixes. I bet you will see many of these words now when you are reading. Bye for now. Okay. So as you know where we are going to, just to check uh, if everybody Open your book in the page 105. Okay. I know some of you did it. So we're going to, you can check if you had right answers there. Okay. So over there is asking that we need to circle the letter next to the word or expression that best complete the sentence or answer the question. Okay. Over there, we have some words that are in bold face that it means that are in black. And that words that we need to find uh, the word the best complete that okay it what it means so this is this is word association so number one uh, 105 i said so lean me can you read please the number one when miss Number one, page 105. Yes. Um, uh, in a register, you might find A, truth, B, records, C, loves, and D, sandwiches. Mm -hmm. In a register, you might find. So, uh, with what word do you ask to see each? The what? word register. So, register, it means? Uh, to 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 record record okay very good so number two diego please look at in the chat sebastian i have repeated that so many times you need to be paying attention meal gives a nip to drink meal is milk is unfit to drink it, it if it's if it is. So what happened when you're drinking a meal and this milk is wasted? How it taste? X. Means what do you say? Waha like that. How about how it is? How is the taste? And cold. 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 No, no, no. Cold. What happened when you're drinking meal and it it is it is wasted like oh. it tastes sour uh -huh, that is the answer sour. okay number three uh please uh, andrea okay i'm sorry i might be Mm -hmm. If you are tired, what happens if you come late to classes? What I'm going to tell you. You're late. You are late, right? So number four, Lauren. Which 
is a juvenile um, a newly hatched chick. Yes, a newly hatched chick is letter B. Okay, number five, Sebastian. Two mice come back from a spring. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, mm -hmm. um, maybe um, we have a lot of packages. With a lot of package. Yes, letter A. Joseph, number six. Um, which meat you see? Um, mm -hmm. Well, no, no. Four. Uh -huh. Floor, letter A. Number seven, Daniel. Guys, we're ready, we're working. At camp that offers a variety of sport you need. You might. A camp that offers a variety of sport you might. Uh -huh. Imagine that you are in a camp and you can do different kind of activities. So you you are going to do different different sports, different sports. Miss, I know. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Swim, wrestle, and skate. Okay. So, number A, Abigail. Where do birds dwell? Uh -huh. Where do birds dwell? In a forest. Uh, yes, in a forest. Very good. Number 10, okay, number 10, Dariel. Number 10, if the action proceeds, I think it is, it stops. If you have standing bills, I think it stops. Yes, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So if the action proceed, what it means? I think it is, it goes on. Yes, number nine. Sorry that I, I'm gonna read it. If you have outstanding bills. Mm -hmm. uh, where, where, sorry. D? D, you owe money. You owe money. Okay. Bruce, number 11. You're drenched in her worldly. If you. Um, I think that is our swimming. No. No, if you're drenched in your wear, if you wear many bracelets and rings, it means that you are wearing a lot of bracelets, bracelets, sorry, and rings. It, that is your drench in, in jewelry. You have a lot of jewelry. Okay, number 12, uh, Darwin. Uh, for a friend in distress, Jude. A probably John for joy, B probably offer, L, C probably order, L, probably J. Mm -hmm. Is the B. Yes, you probably offer help, okay? 
So, very good, very good. Now 106. Okay, now, yes. Okay. So, and this one, um, we had son of them. I, I help you with son of the. Yeah. No, no, no. Look at them. There is son of them. There is um, hover. Okay. So remember that we are working and, and we were learning in the video about the prefixes. And this can this time we had like pre, d, il, and il. So pre, when we say pre register, means that you are going to register before. Okay, so if I tell you guys, if you want to visit the Sioux or the Picacho, you need to, you need to pre-register. Okay, it means that you need to register before we going. Okay, tell me, Elena. Me dance were of the secret You show in the chat. I'm sorry, mistakes. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, and then we have the prefix D that usually is the opposite of or out of. If I say D plane means to get out of the plane, okay? And then we have the prefix ill for illogical means it's no logical. It's no using good res reasoning or irresponsible. It means this person is not responsible. So in the number one, we have this chart that say prefix, base word, new word, and the meaning. I already give you the meanings to you, okay? So if I had the prefix that say the plus? Bone. 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 Okay. If I had number two that is ear plus irregular, uh, plus regular? Ear. Ear. Show me. I know, guys, it's, I let some examples like that because I wanted to do check, okay? So, ear plus regular is irregular, irregular. Means that is not regular. So, imagine that someone that is missing the classes all the week, like, is on math, but then it's not in... in, in in science, but that is in reading, and then it's in social, but that is not in phonics. So this person have a regular attendance list or an irregular attendance list. So do you think this person is a regular student that goes to all his classes? No. No, right? Then we had pre and set. Uh -huh. It means that we said before. It means that what if I tell to you guys, you need to preset your alarm. Okay. It means that you need to set your alarm before it, beforehand. Then we have ill plus legitimate. Illegitimate. 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 It means that it's not legal. Okay. It's no a legal way. Okay, here we go to complete the next. Uh, and the number five, Bruce, you're gonna help me. So we are going to use some of those words like, uh, like set, like preset, like debone, like irregular, uh, like illegitimate or the plain. Or print register. All the words that you can see in here is the one that we're gonna use. Bruce? Yes. Read number five. The large screen and channels make this to be a bad selling. Mm-hmm. One um, word should go there. So it say the larger screen and channels made this TV a bad seller. Illogical? No. Say no. 
Present. It could be present. Okay. Uh huh. Irregular. Irregular. No. Well, okay. Illegitimate. Someone say preset. I'm going to type it next to here. I say this. Okay. Well, number six, we have it over there. My mistake. Number seven, uh, Joseph. The six. Passing. Heartbeat. Worry. Heartbeat. 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 Worry. The doctor. Um, irregular. Irregular. Yes, it's irregular. Number eight, Dariel. Number eight, it will take a lot of time. A long time. Mm -hmm. It doesn't say a lot of time. Lean bien las uh, A long time to figure out these instructions. Mm -hmm. mm. It would take a long time to figure out these illogical. Uh -huh. Illogical. Illogical, very good. So, Sebastian, number nine. Mm. Talking, talking on the phone will you are baby, feeling will be. Mm. Uh huh. Mm. So imagine that, uh-huh. No. Do you know that there is a law? Uh, 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 um, there is a, a law that it says that if you are talking on the phone and driving, the police can give you a, a ticket, a warning. So do you think is? It is good to drive and talk to the phone or texting? No. no. So that is being? No. Is not? Illegitimate. Illegitimate. No. Illegitimate. They're responsible. They're responsible. Please, but I think. I didn't listen, baby. Sorry. I, I couldn't listen to you. Maybe you don't turn off the microphone in that moment. Number 10. Number 10, Darwin. Yes, and um, we will mm -hmm. on the aircraft come to a halt. Mm -hmm. We will when um, the aircraft come to a halt. Is uh -huh. um, irregular. Mm, no. Devon? What? Devon. Devon. Devon, no. I you heard. already use the irregular. It's an aircraft, people. Aircraft. Deep plane. Deep plane. Deep plane. Deep plane. Deep plane. Deep D plane, number 10 is D plane. Okay, 11, uh, Abigail, and 12, Camila. Before taking after school activities, students must for the classes. Uh -huh. Um. Register. Pre-register. Yes, very good. Camila, twelve. Pre-register. Pre. 
pray, guys. Pray register. Okay, pray number register. 12. Number 12. Camila. Camila, your microphone. Um, the original put I. I'm oh, sorry, I made a mistake. Uh -huh. Camila, can you talk? The rule took over the government. Uh huh. Responsible. Mm, no. What word we, we haven't use? used? Uh, there is a the word. Bond. The bond. No. Beside the bone is in number six. Uh -huh. I think that's it. Robert, legitimate, illegitimate. Yes, illegitimate. Oh. Okay. This that is all that we're going to do, just two page. And no, this we're one. gonna make that we're gonna make this one and we're gonna make a dictation. Three wait dictation. <laughs> yes. Okay, this one is, is uh, this one I'm going to be helping you because in this, they are talking about changes of meaning. It means some proverbs, okay? Uh, the proverb is when when someone say like something like, like do not well in the past is a proverb. Or when someone say like, uh, uh, I can see the final say of uh, and, and, and a proverb is, guys, when in Spanish someone say like dichos, como en boca cerrada no entran moscas o, o perro que ladra no muerde. So those are proverbs or quotes that we say in, in, in English, or they say chase of meaning. So we're going to try to match this one that say, our neighbor help us move into our new house. So we help him clean up, up his backyard. So what will be number one in here? Mm -hmm. mm. What good turns deserves another? What good turns deserves another? Okay, very good. This is number one. In the number two, it was upset that I couldn't play in the softball game, but I made a new friend while sitting in the stands. Every club has a swimming. Yes, number two. Okay, number three, the two friends love spending time together because they have so much in common. Um, oh, Birds of a feather flock together. 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 Yes. Not together. And after I fell off my back, I hurt my knee. I was extra careful the next time I rode. One million times. Excellent. So in the next one, uh, well, they are trying that you guys son of the miss might say to make your response. Okay, it's like in the third that we had like, there is safety in numbers. It means I always walk home from school with our friends. Okay, it means that you should not go in or, or be alone all the time. And the number six, great oaks grow from little acorns. What do you think is the meaning over there? Of what, Miss? Great oaks grow from little acorns. Mm. 
Robert. Okay, I'm going to help you. This one is when you are like in a serving group, a star is small, but they make big projects, okay? Write that. A service group starts small and then they take big projects. A service group. A service. Uh -huh. A service, what means? A service group starts small. It's like that if I had the take what means he put in the work yes we know so this means that even they are a small group this small group can start growing and growing and growing and making big changes okay in the number seven, they say, don't make a mountain out of the molehill. <laughs> what happened when you don't do something that your mom tell you to do? Or your dad? Um, we are this on it. Uh -huh, but, but how it feels your dad or your mom? Angry. 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 Uh -huh. This is um. This is so it means so upset, right? Yeah. About losing something, okay? Because your mom or dad is, they are going to be like, okay, I tell him or told her to do this and she's not following my rules. So she feels that she's losing the control of you, okay? Uh, when they say two heads are better than one. The two friends, the two friends are better than one. That uh, could no. be, could no, be. Or two, 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 two heads think better than one. Or two uh -huh. more help, yeah. two more help. Two more help are better than one. It means that, uh, let me say it, but it's like, imagine that you have a math problem and you don't understand. Are you going to look for help or you're going to start trying to solve the problem by your own? No, you're going to uh, help. Help, yes. So, yes. So, we work uh, together. Yes. Miss, I have a, I have, I have a sentence. Uh -huh. That if we work together, uh, we're going to do it good. Uh -huh. So you work together to figure out the answer. Okay. And the last one is Variety is the spice of life. A lot of things, I don't know. So uh, a lot of things. Me, how do you say pasar? No, I have one here. Uh -huh. Me, how do you say how pasar? Do, how do you say disfrutar, me? Enjoy. Uh -huh. You have to enjoy the life. Aha, very good. Yes, that is a very good answer. How do you say pasar? Go through. A lot then of things go then go through to you in your life. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, excellent, guys. Excellent chase of meaning. But in the number nine, I see that says cool day. Aha, uh -huh, but because it, this one I wanted, it, the book wanted that you related with school. What happened? If I have 20 Diegos or only 20 wins or 20 remains, <laughs> but it, that is impossible. Listen, what will yeah. happen? <laughs> what will happen if I only had 20 Abigail or 20 Sebastian or 20 Andreas? So <laughs> it's like uh we are right. 
Yeah. You have to say you. you if you, you, say you if, miss, miss, uh -huh. if you if you have twenty twenty Diego's will be the Diego apocalypse. Come on, Dariel, be nice. Okay. I am Diego apocalypse. So the variety is a spy of life. It means, guys, that it's important that there is okay, the, that that we have different in, in this or what happen what will happen if if i always show you only videos or if i only oh, give you dictation or be so boring. it's gonna be boring so different activities we have to love different how, how they are different activities are good for a school day. It means that if you have different ideas, different activities, if I have different students, I am going to enjoy my work. So, or imagine you that you only have, uh, I don't know, like only, only one, the same teacher for all the classes. It is like boring. I have that. Okay, you can have one teacher for all the classes, but what happens if this teacher say we are going to read, or we are just going to watch a video, or we are that just going be, to cry? That will be so boring. Yeah, right. So, do you finish with that? No. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, so no. different activities are good for a school day. So it's important, like all the teachers, we we love to have different students, different students. Finish. Okay, so I'm going to give you this good no, news. This good, good news for you. We're not going to make the dictation today because we are out of time, okay? So once you finish or you finish, you are dismissed. Bye, me. 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 Mm, I say this in Spanish. Yep. En que donde vamos a subir el video. It's already there in the platform, uh, the assignment. Oh, okay. Yes, it's available. Oh, okay. Okay, Thank beauty. Bye-bye. Bye, me. See Bye. you on Monday. See you. Bye. 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 I will leave, miss. Bye. Why you won't leave? Why you two, the two of you never leave? 